Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into an intriguing question from a developer who stumbled upon a unique method of passing element children in JSX. The question is, undocumented method of passing element children as attributes instead of explicit children. Our viewer encountered some JSX code that surprised them. It features a custom anchor component that uses an anchor tag in a single, non-closed form. This approach seems to bypass the traditional method of enclosing children within the tag. Let's take a closer look at the code and unravel this mystery together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. In this video, we'll explore an undocumented method of passing element children in JSX. Let's start by examining the code provided in the question. Here is the simplified code. We have a custom anchor function that returns an anchor tag with props spread onto it. Notice how it uses the syntax props. This code works because React allows you to spread props onto a component. However, it may seem surprising since we often expect to see children explicitly defined. The traditional way to define an anchor tag would be to include props.children within the opening and closing tags. This is how it was done earlier in the same book. In summary, the new condensed form is a valid way to pass props in JSX, and it simplifies the syntax. If you feel this should be documented, consider reaching out to the author. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In React, JSX can pass element children as attributes instead of explicit children. When using the Babel compiler, JSX like this returns a react.createElement call. The createElement function takes a type, props, and children. If the children parameter is omitted, it might seem like there are no children but the props object can still include a children property. The props object can contain both href and children properties. For example, ep is equivalent to ahref slash react.com children needs a link. This explains why you see children even when not explicitly defined. In summary, foo children bar is the same as foo bar. However, it's suggested that clearer syntax should be used for educational purposes. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.